Expo Hole 2. Ooh. Here we are. Go on. Try out some of the new features. The button that says the name of the player that is playing the game. Hear your name in the game. Infinite hole. Okay. For the Stanley Parable 2, I asked myself, what do players really want? And of course, the first and most obvious answer is that they want to be individually recognized and validated as people. So with that in mind, my first addition to the game is this button which speaks the name of the person playing the game. Isn't that wonderful? Mm -hmm. All right, I wonder how this will work. The button that says the name of the player that is playing this game. Jim. <laughs> Sorry, I should have clarified. Right now, the button only says the name Jim. But of course, in the final game, this button will say your name, whatever name that is. Here. Let's have you role play as Jim to okay. really simulate the full experience of this feature. Okay. Just play along. I promise you'll love it. Okay, my okay, name's Jim. Here we go. Let's Oof. take a deep breath, clear your mind, forget <sighs> whoever you are, and simply become a person named Jim. Oh, hello, everyone. I want you I'm to Jim. imagine yourself living as Jim, sleeping and waking as Jim, falling in love and being heartbroken as Jim. Seizing all of the world's possibilities as Jim, and as Jim, watching your dreams crumble into dust. <laughs> Do you feel it deeply? Are you really, truly Jim right now? Yes. If so, then please step forward and press the button. I would, I would also love to see someone play this whose name is Jim. That would be amazing. Jim. Oh my god, it said my name! <laughs> yes, you see! What a thrill, what a rush! That was you! Oh. The button described you! Do it again, do it again! Okay, okay. Did it really say my name? Jim. Oh! It hits even harder the second time. It really time. said my if name. If this were the only new feature in the Stanley Parable 2, it would still be worth the money. Let's take a break <laughs> from the gym button. I'm too emotionally drained from all of this personal validation. Oh. <laughs> Once again, I, I, I need to see... I need to see someone who's called Jim. I suppose I could allow only people named Jim to play the Stanley Parable too. That would actually save me the work of finishing this feature. <laughs> Smart. Reinsurance bucket. Ooh. Please, no screenshots. Ooh. I, I would like to see what the bucket is like. A common complaint of the Stanley Parable was that it was confusing and paradoxical. That it engendered a chaotic sense of reckless despair in those who played it. Well, I am happy to say that after much consideration, I've engineered a clever solution to this fundamental problem with the game. It's the Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket. You see, Stanley, any time you're holding the bucket, a sense of calm and ease will fill your mind and your heart. It's true. As long as you hold onto the bucket, the many disorienting contradictions of the Stanley parable will feel perfectly normal and perhaps even comforting. You may even come to long for the gentle embrace of jarring cognitive dissonance while the bucket is in your arms. And to be honest, it's a much more convenient solution for me than actually redesigning the game to be less uncomfortable. <laughs> Can you imagine what a pain in the ass that would be? Yes, no, I... the bucket is the perfect solution. Come on, give it a try. <sighs> Am I ready? I'm no longer Jim, so I think it should be fine. <laughs> you know? Can you feel it? Um, the glow of comfort, even in the face of crushing despair, must already be sweeping through your body. And in fact, can I say that I do believe the bucket lends you an air of charisma as well? I think that just holding it has made you the slightest bit more attractive as a person. 
The benefits of the bucket seem to go on and on, don't they? All this and more await you in the Stanley Parable too. I should put the bucket... Oh, we, we just have the bucket now, okay. I don't think I'm ready to have this responsibility. The button that says Jim. Does anyone give out awards for most enjoyable bucket in a video game? That really should be an award if it isn't already. Jump circle, infinite hole. The baby's all grown up. Bankruptcy. <laughs> A whole new office. Ooh. That carpet is... Red is the new orange. <sighs> Ray traced more of the same, but in a good way. I mean, I hope they don't mind me recording this. Okay, I'll this. be honest, I haven't yet decided on this one. I think that in the new version, the office could use a bit of decoration, like balloons. But I'm oh. undecided on Get Well Someday and Happy Twelfth Birthday. Which would you go with? Oh. No, they Get Well Sunday. You know, sometimes when you solicit another person's opinion, it makes you realize that you knew which one you actually really wanted all along. Indeed. Happy 12th birthday, step niece it is. I, I actually abide by that logic. The amount of times that I've been like, oh, I have these two choices. Someone gives me the one, or multiple choices. Someone says one to me, and it's like, actually, I don't want that one. It makes me realize which ones I don't want, which is actually weirdly useful. Or actually, maybe I should have gone with... No. No, I've made my decision. We're moving on. Yeah, it's, it's the way to go about things. Once you've made the de decision, you just stick to it. Where's the in oh, new jump circle. Oh, I've run out of jumps. What? Let's bring the jump circle back for Stanley Parable 2 as well. Yeah. It's... Oh, wait. You already spent all your jumps the first time we saw the jump circle. Hmm. Oh, well. I suppose it can just be a nice decorative piece, then. It is a nice circle. Oh, let's be control. Collectible. I don't want to exit yet. Ooh. <laughs> Epilogue. <laughs> Um, uh, this is quite a confusing key, but let's go and see K, uh, the infinite hole. Actually, I feel like the infinite hole is probably going to be infinite, so, eh, uh, nah, let's check it out first. Who knows? Time, depth. Hmm. Whole entrance, infinite. Infinity. Science. It just keeps going. <laughs> Stanley, Ooh. here's an idea that I'm truly fond of. It's never been done before in a video game. This is, in fact, a hole that you can fall down forever. That's right. Infinite falling. You can fall until the end of time, if you like. A stunning leap forward for video games as a medium. Okay. I mean...
You see, isn't it wonderful? One of my more ingenious concoctions, if I do say so. Now then, since you've gotten to see the infinite hole, you can press the teleport button to pop back up to the top, and we can continue onward. Oh, that's good. I'll just chill mm. for a bit. Now, I don't mean to be a bummer, but I do recommend you use the teleport button to go back to the top. Maybe do it on the sooner rather than later spectrum of things. Why do you say that? It's as if there is indeed a bottom to this hole. Okay, Stanley. I don't know quite how to say this tactfully, but it's possible that I slightly exaggerated the infinite nature of the hole. Oh, no. Is it a very, very deep hole? To be certain it is. It's an extremely deep hole. I don't want anyone to say that it isn't an astonishingly deep hole. It is. Is it infinite? Well, that sort of depends on your definition oh. of infinity. From one perspective, the infinite is merely philosophical in nature. It's more of a... Oh. Okay, well, good for you. You found the bottom of the hole. You New found me out, Stanley. I'm a liar and a cheat, and you're so clever. Look, I think the issue here is just that you're unusually fascinated by falling. What normal person actually wants to fall infinitely? I figured the hole was as deep as anyone would actually need. Don't you put this on me. Maybe you're the problem. I... I... <sighs> Uh, things got a little heated there. I think we both said some things we didn't mean. Why don't we just put all this behind us and agree to just call the whole mostly infinite? If that works for you, then go ahead and press the teleport button to warp up to the top of the hole and we can move on. Yeah. I'll just be up here when you're ready. Great. Now, I'm very excited to show you even more of my ideas for the sequel. Just skirt around. Make sure we don't fall back in. <laughs> uh. I mean, it would be possible to make it infinite with some um, teleportation loops. Uh, free, new, and easy achievement. It just works. I. <laughs> I can't believe it's that simple. Get it here. Pull the lever, receive your new achievement, no more steps, it just works. Get yours right now. Now here's something special. You remember that broken test achievement that got left in the game on accident? Well, I'm developing a technology to simply give you the achievement. Yes. You see, you'll come to this lever, and when you pull it, the achievement will be given to you. It's as simple as that. Okay. Okay, perhaps I should have clarified. This is technology that will exist. Right now, the achievement is still fully broken. I'm not a wizard, Stanley, but I guarantee it will be fixed in the sequel. Okay. To at last satisfy the hordes of ravenous fans all over the world who have been uproariously demanding this feature. Gamers, we hear you, and I promise it will happen. Good to know. Um... It just, it just works. I keep instinctively trying to jump as well. What else? What other exhibits haven't we seen yet? Uh, collectibles. Can you find them? Can you find them? Collect them all. Ooh, ooh. This is ah, what a bucket's for. Collectibles. Now it's a real video game. In the Stanley Parable 2, you'll run around gathering up these miniature Stanley figurines. And what's truly innovative is that there will be no reward for collecting all of them. I don't want to stifle the intrinsic joy of watching a number go up. You simply collect all of them, and then you move the hell on with your unremarkable <laughs> life. <laughs> Oh, that's amazing. Yay! You found it! <laughs> Good. 
God, it really <laughs> is the worst when you collect everything in a video game and then they give you a big fancy reward for it. Absolutely <laughs> tragic. <laughs> oh, that's the lady from the other end. I'm glad I actually did that because I couldn't remember who it was. Oh, we missed the epilogue. <laughs> That's Jim. Oh, classic Jim. You heard Jim again. <laughs> An epilogue would be fun, wouldn't it, Stanley? Yes, yes, it will go at the end of the... Um, uh, well, we'll figure that out later. Okay. That's new. Settings World Championship. Oh, and it looks like we can't go to the settings. I love the floor space here. It's really cool and funky. <laughs> Uh. Ooh. It's funny how much work they've All actually right. put into Have this. Have you seen as everything well. you wanted to? Ready to move on now? Hey, good, good job, them. So, Stanley, what do you think? Do you like all of the new features? Yes. Yeah. I know it's not exactly clear yet how exactly these features will come together as one single coherent video. I still game, have the but bucket, apparently. I can feel it in my soul. I say, apparently. It's, it's going to work. There's definitely a good game in there somewhere. Say, let's do an experiment. Okay. I'll arrange these new features together and we'll see whether or not it coheres into a meaningful gameplay experience. If not, we can blame mm -hmm. Jim. <laughs> Okay, are you ready? Here it is. I give you the Stanley Parable 2. <laughs> um, oh, we well, have um, I mean, there's potential here, right? It's sort of... Okay, never mind. Hold on, let me do a different arrangement. Okay, yes, yes, this is much better. I feel good about this. Here we go. Version 2. <sighs> Who am I kidding, Stanley? Oh, double the holes. This isn't a coherent video game at all. It's a lot of gags. And I do very much enjoy creating gags, but they don't add up to anything. I wanted more than anything to create a sequel that would capture all the magic of the first game. I wanted fans to love it. No matter how good these gags are, they won't stand on their own. They would need the structure and the gameplay of the original. Wait, maybe that's it. I can take the original Stanley Parable and simply, well, insert a few of my new features into it. Tastefully, of course, with respect, with care for the vision and integrity of the original game. Would it possibly work? Mm, I suppose it could. But it would need a really, really tremendous title screen. A title screen that says with bold and uncompromising conviction, This is the Stanley Parable 2. Let me see if I can whip something up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, perfect. Go ahead. Take a look. Ooh. Do I do like this? Oh, it's very fancy. In the game. Oh. 
reach back at the stat. Oh, this okay. is the story of a man named Stanley. You can skip if you want to. Stanley worked for a company in a big building <laughs> where he was employee number four. Got, gotta get those balloons. Employee number four two seven's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room four two seven and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul rending, Stanley relished every moment. It does bug me how this, this screen changes. Though he had been text made along. exactly <laughs> for this job. And Stanley was happy. That doesn't say consistent. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not now. one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. It's even bigger. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Oh, please. Are you really just doing this for the achievement? No. Click a door five times. Is that all oh. that you think an achievement is worth? The no, 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 no. I can't just give these merits away for such little effort. A measly five clicks. Now, suppose you were to click the door 20 times. I would say that's the kind of effort that warrants recognition. Stanley picked up the bucket. I thought we just have the bucket now. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. Okay. <laughs> Still no one was here. Stanley needed the bucket's warmth and comfort now more than ever. Perhaps his boss's office was where he'd find answers. Oh, Stanley, can you feel it? The broom closet. It wants the bucket. Oh! You can feel that, can't you? The aura of jealousy? It's as clear as day. This broom closet believes it deserves the bucket. I can really feel it now. It's a bucket. It belongs in a broom closet. That's what the broom closet is trying to say here. It's a place to go with the other cleaning supplies. Good for you, Stanley. Don't give in. Don't hand over the bucket. No. I know how hard it must be, given the pressure that the broom closet is putting on your shoulders right now, but you have to be strong. This is your bucket. This is your companion and you lifelong friend. You can't hand it over. What? Oh, no. Mop We're getting into name-calling now, it seems. Is this how low the broom closet has sunk that it has to resort to this stream of there petty even insults simply in order to get you to hand over the bucket? Stanley, I never liked this broom closet for a variety of reasons. But even this is worse than I had imagined. And wait, now the broom closet has the gall to imply that you and the bucket are not truly deep and lasting friends? That your relationship is purely superficial and convenient? That your life is so banal and meaningless that you'd feel the same sort of kinship towards any inanimate object which happened to lay in your path in an even partially enticing manner? Well, I'd never. Go on, Stanley. Lay into it. Really tell the broom closet off for its demeaning comments. Expand on the wide variety of experiences you <laughs> and the bucket have shared together. Go through each of them point by point. Uh, Share your journal entries detailing the rich emotional landscape of your feelings for the bucket as they have changed and evolved over the years. Yes. Let him have it. Um, screw you, closet. Well, that made me feel better. <laughs> Coming to a staircase, 
Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. <laughs> oh. Interesting. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Crushed by the weight of this revelation, Stanley may have broken down into an emotional dumpster fire, if not for the soothing presence of the bucket. Even now, in his darkest of hours, did the bucket's warmth and guiding light pierce the dark clouds of confusion and chaos. It would be with him, always. The bucket would. And he knew it. The two of them were inseparable. At this point, Stanley was so absorbed in the tender spiritual connection he shared with the bucket that he didn't notice the keypad behind the boss's desk. Nor in his bliss of simply being near the bucket did he have any notion that the pin number for the keypad was 2845. I mean, how would we know? I'm just here with my Stanley bucket. just sat around twiddling his thumbs. Trying to input anything on the device was useless, since he could never possibly know that the combination was 2845. Two, eight, four, five. <laughs> I mean, there's no way of me knowing it. Forgot, but it turns out that the panel's emergency override kicked in, and the door just opened oh. all by itself, and Stanley got the hell along with the story. Well, what did do? <laughs> Thank you, Bucket, for keeping me company. Oh. You found one of them. One of the miniature Stanley figurines. Remember, no reward for collecting all of these only the intrinsic pleasure of a job well done. I do you want... can't buy that sort of happiness, Stanley. God knows I've tried. So, I implore you to savor each and every moment you come across one of these beautiful figurines. Ah. <sighs> it's the new content I've been craving. <laughs> The elevator raced downward, plummeting towards an unknown fate. It would be all Stanley could do to keep himself together, if not for the bucket. Thank you, Bucket. Soothing him, comforting him, reassuring that in this darkest moment of uncertainty, he would be all right. The bucket is here for you, Stanley. Everything will be fine. Thank you, Bucket. I wonder if we just do a normal playthrough. Like... Stanley and the bucket walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. I want to see what happens if we just do a normal ending with the bucket. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Cause... Stanley and the bucket both wondered to themselves. <laughs> um, we, we need to know what the life is with with the bucket, right? These are some funky monitors. The monitors jumped to life, and Stanley nearly dropped the bucket in shock. Oh, no. Everyone in the office was being videotaped, monitored like guinea pigs. The bucket had never seen <laughs> anything like this, and it very nearly burst into tears as Stanley cradled it gently, reassuring it that everything would be fine. It is funny some of the Was the images. bucket under the mind control facilities influence as well? Had the bucket been told to do things it didn't wish to do? What kinds of things does a bucket want to do or not want to do in the first place? 
These questions raced furiously in Stanley's feeble mind. No! He screamed into the bucket. No. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! He squeezed the bucket tighter. His one friend in the entire world. At this point, he could trust no one except for the bucket. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he and the bucket would dismantle the controls for good. Two best friends, Stanley and the Bucket, up against the world. Yes. They high-fived in a really cool way. Oh. And the Bucket made a sassy comment about taking down the system. Good, good job, Bucket. Bucket ending. <laughs> Stanley and the bucket waited in blackness. Was it over? Yes, they had done it. Stanley and the bucket had defeated their greatest and darkest enemy, freed themselves from the tyrannical grip of the evil mind control machine. Freedom was now mere moments away. Excitedly, the two of them began to discuss the kind of life they wanted to live once they stepped through this massive door. The Bucket wanted to learn to roller skate. Ooh. Stanley wanted to sneeze in every country on Earth. Both of them wanted to begin watching a movie, any movie, but then stop it halfway through and begin watching it in reverse from the end. True, it was a simple life they envisioned, but it was one they'd lived together, with one another to lean on, to trust, to support, and... Uh oh What? Wait. What was happening? Why had the door stopped? Why had was it Stanley and the Bucket not about to be freed? An unbearable twist. silence filled the room, lingering in uncertainty. I can love the Bucket Until today. finally the truth hit Stanley square in the he face. He can make it out. This building did not want the Bucket to leave. No! Even the facility itself recognized the incredible calming presence of the Bucket. Needed the soothing warmth of the Bucket. We could throw it. It could escape without us. Part with the Bucket. No, no. Stanley can't leave this place, not while he has such a precious bucket in his arms, not while this building has anything to say about it. Stanley realized he would never again leave this very room, but at least, at least he has the bucket. To be trapped eternally in darkness isn't really so bad, Stanley thought to himself. As long as I have my bucket with me, right? I'll be okay, won't I? Stanley gulped. Very soon now, he was about to find out. Oh. Um. All of his co workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. I need to show the bucket the employee lounge. The lounge was sublime, a work of art. What was but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. <laughs> the father balloons are still all over the place. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. I feel like this is one of those Stanley, games I where it's just... Perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. This is I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you forgot. What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? No. Why? I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. 
Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Danger everywhere. No buckets past this point. Ooh. Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Another miniature Stanley figurine. This, um, you know, there really must be a snappier name for these things. What about mini stands? Stanley figs? Um, what about Stanlerines? Yes, I think I like I do that. like Stanlerines. Another Stanlerine under your belt. So what was that? Go through the blue door? Aha. Perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. I still don't think we're communicating properly. Stanley walked through the red door. All right, fine. Go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. You see? There's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Broken <laughs> rooms, tiles. exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Was it worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. And in the end, it was all for nothing. Because this is what you wanted to see. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? Skill trees? Work with me. You've given me absolutely nothing so far. Tell you what. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design and you can Wait. give me some feedback. Why is that telling me? There we go. Oh. A third option. This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Go ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. I want to go this way now. Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. Oh, three. of course. A three. Really. Maybe next time we can get you to form an actual opinion, you know? <laughs> Any level of critical thinking or engagement with your surroundings? Does that sound good? Think we can do that? Yes? Mm, wonderful. Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. <laughs> oh. Now, would you say Stanley that competitive Powell. leaderboard Word helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? Again, Honest answers, please. Oh. Oh. Skip the intro sequence. Hey. Top ten thousand. Oh. Um. Uh, I am a bit stuck. And, <laughs> hmm. Now wait a man. <laughs> I think the game bugged. <laughs> I don't know what to do anymore. I'm scared. I don't have the bucket with me. Uh. <laughs> uh, begin the game again. I think it's the only way. Stanley had never seen the office this brightly lit. Was it a sign of something? He hoped it was. He hoped very much that it was. Figure finders committee meeting today in the meeting room.
Okay. So next cycle we can potentially see something. Uh, I feel like we have to do that one again now. There's a meeting when Stanley going on. came to a set of so. two open doors, he entered the door on his left. There's a figure thing in the meeting room. Trust the completionist instinct. There will be a reward for finding them all. Stop kidding yourselves. I want them so much. Oh! It actually tells you inside the sequel exhibit. A private but smiley place for an important person. Stairs, something to do with stairs, a large room, lots of boxes. Thank you. Good luck. Maybe we are the collectibles. Bottom text. <laughs> oh no, oh no, 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 not again. I won't be part of this. I'm not going to encourage you. I'm not going to say anything at all. I'm just going to be patient and wait for you to finish whatever it is you enjoy doing so much in this room. Please take your time. Thank you. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Something to do with stairs. Ahaha! Okay, I'm going back to the name of these little Stanley figurines, and now I'm torn between Stanlarines and Figlies. What do you think, Stanley? What name better encapsulates the intrinsic sense of happiness Stanlarines. that you get from seeing a small number in the corner of your screen go up by one? Let me sit on it. I'm sure it will come to me. Okay. <laughs> You're getting close now, Stanley. You've nearly gotten all of the Figler and Marines. Very soon, you'll collect the last one, and then the first number will equal the second number, <gasps> and that will be it. It's so exciting. We'll be different people by then, different in the sense that we used to have none of them, and now we have them all. You soon. can't go back to when you had no Figler and Marines. None of us can. Because the boss knows... Uh, that what the boss says goes. If the boss suffers, suffered losses, then that's what the boss chose. Okay, then. Oh. Business strategy. Um... I guess we're going this way. <laughs> Ooh. Very long elevator. At least you have some nice music to chill. Uh, excuse me, what was that? <laughs> Do 
do wonder how long this would go. I feel like we missed something there, but oh well. <laughs> 